Throughout this Thanksgiving service, we will be using a song of David, a song of praise. When it was written, wars raged, illness prevailed. Many knew the bite of hunger. It was a time when fear crouched at every corner. It was a time like ours, and yet the people made a choice, a choice to sing. They sang their love of creation, their love of God, and their commitment to the world in which they lived. So, today, let us sing. First, let us acknowledge with deep gratitude that we gather on the homeland of the Lekongwen speaking people, the Songhees and Esquimalt First Nation. We raise our hands and give thanks for their care of the waters, the lands, the creatures of the earth, and we give thanks for their traditions and for their stories. May we honor their traditions and seek reconciliation with their people. We light our candle this day. We light it every week to remind us of the spirit of Christ that is on the loose in the world, bringing light to our darkness, wisdom to our discernment, and life to each moment. Let the same spirit shine on in you and in this day. During the reading of the psalm, you are invited to participate in the form of a bidding prayer. When the leader says, bless the Lord, O my soul, your response will be, my God, you are very great. We begin in this way. God, the creator and the provider, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. My God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with a garment. You stretched out the heavens like a tent. You set the beams of your chambers on the waters and you make the clouds your chariot. You ride on the wings of your wind and you make the winds your messenger, fire and flame, your ministers. Bless the Lord, O my soul. My God, you are very great. You set the earth on its foundations so that it shall never be shaken. You cover it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. Bless the Lord, O my soul. My God, you are very great. At your rebuke, they flee. At the sound of your thunder, they take to flight. They rose up to the mountains and ran down to the valleys, to the place that you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. My God, you are great. You make the springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills, giving drink to every wild animal. The wild asses quench their thirst. By the strength, by the streams, the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. 
from your lofty abode you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. My God, you are very great. You cause the grasses to grow for the cattle and the plants for the people to use to bring forth the food from the earth and the wine to gladden the human heart, oil to make the faces shine and the bread to strengthen human heart. The trees of the creator are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon, the great ones planted. In them, the birds build their nests. The stork has its home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats and the rocks are refuge for the cornies. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. My God, you are very great. You have made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the animals of the forest come creeping out. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they withdraw and lie down in their den. People go out to their work and to their labor until the evening. Oh God, how manifold are your works. In wisdom, you have created them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. My God, you are very great. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan that you form to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. My God, you are very great. May the glory of God endure forever. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. My God, you are very great. Take this blessing into your day and into this Thanksgiving. May the eyes of your heart be open to all the blessings which surround you. May this awareness produce a harvest of generosity in your spirit. May thankfulness rise up within you, not just now, but day by day. May your prayers reflect gratitude while also acknowledging the needs of others whose situations are so drastically different. May thoughts of Jesus fill your mind and thanksgiving be your response. Amen. Amen. Thank you.